Okay, you guys, we're going to try this. Um, so I, I want to start just to give you a, a rundown on what, what my role is going to be here and, um, and, and what you should really prepare yourself for. That was my instructions to give you to, to be very open and to uh, be methodical, methodical with you. So um, my role here is because I am one who has completed the journey. So I'm going to guide you through as best as I can to help you get to the other side and understanding where you're at specifically, not like these other people out here. Um, knowing what it's like to be in um, at least the occult. I don't know what it's like to be in witchcraft or anything like that. Um, I, do wanna, I do know what it's like to have to deal with these demons. I do know what it's like to be in a cult. And I do know what it's like to have cult leaders and followers stalking you and attacking you. Um, these other people don't know what this is like. And quite frankly, they're very ignorant. So, you know, I really, what I really would advise you to do is to uh, create your own little group, uh, support group. And it, it's not to, uh, to cry poor me with each other. Do not ever do that. Do not ever allow yourself to feel like you're a victim. But... Uh, for for purposes of bouncing scripture off of each other. Um, hey, do you understand what this means? What do you think this means? Um, bounce it off each other. And the other thing that I would tell you is, you're going to have to totally remove yourself from the world for a little while. So you, you no more watching regular TV, movies, anything like that. Whatever you watch on uh, YouTube should be nothing but spiritual videos no more worldly stuff at all you need to remove yourself from the world to remove its influence from you okay um you, you'll understand as you get further and further into this this demon is trying to hurt me it doesn't want me to say this this demon's getting ready to burn in the pit so uh i i don't care what it does to me i don't care what it does to me um Remove yourself from the world so that uh, Satan's grip ha it cannot control you any longer. Um, the one thing that you are going to have to do, and I mean this sincerely, you know, um, you'll, you'll find out the more you wake up, you'll find out that um, people out here, no matter how nice they try to be, they're, they're judgmental, they're ignorant. Um, they don't understand what they haven't experienced and they don't care to understand what they haven't experienced All they care to do is judge it and most people who have not awakened But have removed themselves from the mystics community or the occult They sit on their high horse and judge everybody else that's still in uh, the occult and, and mysticism You need to be extremely diligent in who you associate with you need to definitely build up your discernment skills. You look at everybody at face value. No more, no more reading that, oh, they must have meant this when they said this, or, or that maybe they're having a bad day. <coughs> I'll just let that go. No more of that. When someone disrespects you the first time, they don't get a second time. Unless they take responsibility for their behavior and they apologize to you. People who don't take responsibility for their behavior are irresponsible. They're sleepers. They could care less about you. And more or less they can care less about themselves. Because one who cares about our, our, ourselves, we care about other people. Because those people are us. And that's how you will come to see it. Okay? So... There's a lot of stuff that we need to overcome while we're on this path. This is not for weaklings. And this is what I want to tell you right up front. Uh, the other thing that's going to happen is these demons are going to start attacking you. If you are a former follower of Nithya Nanda and you're, and you're in that Sarah Landry group, I hope by now you have seen how she has lied to you. 
why do you think Nithyananda and his goons are still stalking me and attacking me? Is it because they don't know me? I hope you will remove yourself from that group now. If you're truly looking to wake up, I hope you will remove yourself from that group and see Sarah Landry for who she really is. It's the same thing all over again. You had to, you had to see Nithyananda for who he really was, and that took you getting deeply, deeply hurt. Well, you're going to have to see Sarah Landry for who she really is because she is just like him. And she has lied to all of you. And she has literally turned you all into abusers because she made you all believe that I was out here abusing her. She never did a thing to me. She didn't even know me according to her. So if you truly want to wake up, You've got to get past all these lies out here. You've got to get past all these lies. And you've got to leave these lying people behind you. Move away. It's time to move away. Throw out the garbage. That's first and foremost. So, you're going to stop doing all uh, Kriyas and Pranayamas to do anything further to open your, eye, your third eye. You're going to stop anything that you're doing to uh, open the Kundalini any further. Stop it. Stop everything. You will not practice spiritual powers any longer. These are all demonic things. You will stop all of it now. You will stop all of it now. So, any, uh, any Hindu deities... Any Buddha statues, uh, jewelry, crystals, books, candles, talismans, everything from the occult, witchcraft, or divination. You've got to get rid of all of it. All of it. And then uh, sage. Sage sage is actually calling demons to you. We, we were taught that. When you burn sage in your house, that, that you were actually cleaning your space. No, no, no. Sage is actually calling demons to you. Get rid of all of it. Get rid of all of it. Um, and I would suggest that you start watching Bob Larson's videos. What will happen is these demons, if you watch his videos, or you can go to uh, Mike Signorelli, and watch that mass deliverance video. These demons, you can just sit there and watch it. And these demons will start coming out of you. The smaller ones. Now, there's no doubt that you've got the snake demon in you. And that you, uh, a lot of people coming from Hindu or not coming from Hinduism. If they smoke pot or whatever. Uh, Bob Larson is finding that Shiva is, is being found. In a, Shiva is being found in people who have never studied Hinduism before. It's the fact that they smoke pot. Shiva, the spirit of Shiva is being found in these people. So there's no doubt you're going to have a few big demons in you. What I mean by big, I mean powerful. You're, you're going to have to make an appointment with Bob Larson to, to get these ones out of you. The little ones like um, anger, fear, uh, lust, um isolation this, these are all spirits the spirit of anger the spirit of anxiety the spirit of isolation the spirit of depression all these what I call the little ones you can get rid of these by watching Mike Signorelli's uh, mass deliverance video that's how I did it so so far 16 are gone for me you're gonna go back you're gonna you're gonna renounce uh, all your generational, uh, possible generational curses. Um, I'll put the videos in the description. Mike Signorelli came out with the video, which is where I first learned from it, um, how to do self-deliverance. And he goes through with you what you should renounce. I made one of these videos too on here. If you want to go and look for it, you can. Um, I wrote everything down and I've been doing this. You understand? I don't play. And this is what you're going to have to understand. This path is not for wimps. You've got to be serious. 
And you've got to want to be in oneness with Jesus more than anything else in your life, more than your next breath, or this will never happen for you. So your whole entire life has to be dedicated to this, moving out of the darkness and into the light. And what's going to happen? These demons are going to start being released from you. You're, you're not going to feel any more fear. You're not going to feel any more anxiety. Um, the, uh, I, I, then we're going to go through some exercise. I'm going to show you how to watch your thoughts and understand that you are not these thoughts. These thoughts that you're getting are from these demons. And as they're cast out of you, you're going to see the thoughts are naturally going to slow down. This will help you more and more to understand that you are indeed a spiritual being and this form is not who you are. As all of these things start happening to you and you experience these things, you will understand that you're not listening to me just say these things. You will experience these things yourself and you will understand more and more that you are a spiritual being and you're not this form. So, um, it's up to you whether you want to tell anybody what you're doing. Um, I, I will tell you, if you've been following Nithya Nanda, they will come after you. He's doing everything possible to try to stop me from getting this demon out of me. He doesn't understand there is no stopping me. There's nothing more powerful than Jesus Christ. I want you all to fully understand this and not have any fear. That should be probably the first spirit that you cast out of you is you you break the the curse of fear and get it out of you then have that bottle of anointing oil you could get these little bottles on amazon this is anointed oil it's just olive oil and you pray over it anoint yourself every single day and every single night before you go to bed anoint yourself there is nothing more powerful than the name of jesus christ you have to know this and you have to believe it. And what I will tell you, the first couple of times you bind these demons when they attack you, you will believe it. You will absolutely believe it. So you anoint yourself and you tell these demons, I bind you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If they start hurting you and they will stop. And if they're hurting you anywhere on your body, get this oil. Make the sign of the cross wherever they're hurting you on the body and they will stop. They have to stop. This is how powerful Jesus Christ's name is. They have to stop. Okay? So keep the oil with you. Um, just understand they will beef up their attacks on you. This is why your work, once you begin this work, once you have made the, the decision and declaration that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You believe he died on the cross and rose from the grave within three days. And he has defeated Satan. He has defeated Satan. So um, if you truly believe that once you make that declaration, these demons are going to start attacking you. So you've got to be dedicated to not play games. No playing games. There's no time for playing games. Because once these demons start attacking you, it's going to be very uncomfortable. You sit and watch these deliverance videos as much as you have to. Have a Bible with you. Hold on to the Bible. That's what I did. I held on to the Bible. And I watched these deliverance videos and these demons just started coming out. You may start coughing, burping, crying hysterically, vomiting. They have to come out through the mouth. Um, and don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. You know, this whole time we should have been afraid because these demons were literally inside of us and we weren't afraid. So understand, you should not be afraid now because you are a child of Jesus Christ and nothing is more powerful than Jesus Christ. Okay? So, hold, I always held the Bible right next to my heart like this while I was watching the deliverance videos. And, and I just naturally, I, I would start rocking back and forth and I didn't even realize that I was doing it, but but it, it has become natural that when I start doing this, I know a demon is going to be released from me. And what happens? I will go hysterical crying, and my head usually goes back like this because I'm crying so hard. And 
I get electricity that it seems like it's on the inside of me and it surrounds my head, goes to the back of my neck and down the backs of my arms. And the only way I can describe that is that is the Holy Spirit like just hugging me. And when that happens, I know these demons are getting ready to go. And then I will start coughing and then vomit. The demons come out. They have to. They have to. And you'll be helping, Mike. You'll, you'll be yelling at these demons. Um, up and out. Get up and out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Up and out. This is not your home. You don't belong here. I don't want you here. Up and out in the name of Jesus Christ. And you have to say it with force. These demons have to know that you mean business. Otherwise, they're not going to go anywhere. Okay? So, the, for the little ones, you, you absolutely can do these at home watching the videos. You do the renouncing. Do the anointing. Just make sure you have like a, a little uh, bathroom trash can next to you because you will spit up. Um, so that you can do at home. But please understand that if your kundalini is open, you have the snake demon in you. And whatever you did, and I am, I, I will never judge you. Um, if you were smoking pot or doing any other kind of psychedelics, you have other kinds of demons in you that are a lot stronger than the, than the spirit of anger, the spirit of depression, or the spirit of whatever, anxiety. These demons are a lot stronger. And um, I, I proved to myself that I can make these spirits manifest, these demons manifest. The problem is um, they can literally take over your consciousness and you need somebody else in the room with you that is in control of them because you will no longer be in control of them because they will take over your consciousness. So it, it's not a good idea to try to get these big ones out by yourself. So I would recommend, especially for us that are, that are coming from the occult and, and mysticism, that we have these really big demons and really powerful demons in here, that you make an appointment with Bob Larson. Because what I've seen him do, he doesn't take chances. He gets them to state their name. He knows exactly what demons are there. He binds them with a threefold cord and he makes them declare that they are releasing you that they are releasing you and they will not come back and they he will make them release your children release your future generations if it's a generational curse this is this is why i'm telling you he charges a fee for this it's not cheap but this is your life and you want this done correctly so i would tell you and this is what's happening with me i'm on disability and i work part time this is why it's taken so long. I have to save up for this. And I'm saving up. That's all I can tell you. So in the meantime, I'm, I'm still watching his videos. I'm learning as much as I can. And when the day comes that I'm able to finally make that appointment, it's happening for me. That's all there is. Okay? So in the meantime, I carry my, uh, my anointed oil with me. Um, I bind this thing when I have to. And... Uh, I, I'm just, I'm just uh, taking it a day at a time because this thing is really, um, it's manifesting more and more now because it knows it's going. It knows there's, there's no chance of it staying. It's going. So it's, I'm even hearing it when I talk. Um, that video that, that I made that says, vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord, when I was yelling at that demon, I really wasn't yelling, yelling at him, but I got loud. Um for talking to me the way he did. Um, I actually saw three demons manifest in that video. So it's happening more and more now and I'm able to see it, which is a good thing because I wasn't able to see it before, but I am able to see it now. Three demons manifested in that video alone. Okay. So this is no joke. These demons are real. And this is why I'm saying once you get rid of them, if you truly went into mysticism or Hinduism because you wanted to know God and you were on a spiritual path, 
it will become a conviction for you that you have to warn other people about this stuff and that you, you will have to help them get rid of these demons. It will become a conviction. Okay? That's what I'm telling you. But this is no joke. This is not a game. So all of these occult practices need to stop immediately. Start, start binge watching Bob Larson's video, Mike Signorelli's mass deliverance video, um, Encounter TV's video on scripture, because you want to be filling yourself as you're getting rid of these demons, and you don't want to be filling yourself up with things from the world. Only of God. You want to fill yourself up with God. Okay? At some point, when you find a local church, when you're ready, hopefully sooner than later, get baptized through a water immersion and uh, just continue along on, on your deepening in the oneness with Jesus Christ. And I'm only going to be here with you for a very short time because I firmly believe once you know the basics, you, got, you get rid of these demons and I get you to understanding the day here's what I want to tell you the day that you finally can can witness your thoughts and know that you are separate from your thoughts you will no longer need me that is when your path truly starts and it's a deepening journey just you and Jesus Christ and you are to solely rely on Jesus solely rely on Jesus not anyone out in the world ever okay they don't understand anything that we've been through. Um, they, they actually look down at us and stay away from it. Stay away from it. But I will not tell you to stay away from Jesus Christ ever. That's why I'm telling you, try to get a community together of those of you that are now leaving the darkness and coming into the light so that you have a support system for each other. You all know what you've been through and you will not judge each other. You will not judge each other. And oh, one last thing I want to tell you before I get into the teaching here. Excuse me. These demons will start manifesting. And understand that sometimes it may come out as anger. Like I just told you, three demons manifested in that Vengeance is Mine to Say at the Lord video. And what did that tarot demon do? She put out another abusive video on me saying that I'm a narcissist. Um... These are the things that, that the demons in the world will do to you. Um, and these people out here who, who sit on their high horse and judge you, these are the things they will do. These are things you should never do to each other, ever. Understand these demons are real. These demons are the one who are giving you these uh, negative emotions and these negative thoughts in your mind. And when these things manifest, it doesn't mean that because a demon tells you to yell at somebody or to be furious at somebody that you should. The, the stronger you get and the more you understand about what's happening to you, the more you will be able to resist these demons and keep calling on Jesus Christ when, when you're feeling like things are getting out of control. There will be times where you will start yelling. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you deserve 30 lashes. It doesn't mean that everyone needs to jump all over you. No, no, no. This, at this time right now, you need to be firm with yourself. There should be no victim mentality going on here whatsoever. Firm with yourself you need to be. But you need to see things in the reality and give yourself a break. There is a literal demon inside of you doing this. Give yourself a break. And then you will understand that when the, when the other people in your group have a bad day or they or they they yell something that you may think is inappropriate that you can talk to them and uh, not judge them. The last thing you guys need is to be judged. Okay? And you don't need to judge yourself either. But you must never allow yourself to feel like you've been victimized in any way whatsoever. Understand there are no victims. The only victims are children because they don't know enough and they're not independent enough to make their own decisions. Children are the only victims on this planet. Other than that, there are no victims because understand, we have made a conscious decision to allow people to hurt us. We had made a conscious decision to make excuses for other people's bad behavior 
because we felt like we were being a martyr. We were, we would be looked at looked at as such a caring and compassionate person. So there are no victims here, none whatsoever. You need to look at yourself constantly, constantly be doing introspection, and I mean constantly. And any time that voice, and these are demons too, that want you to feel bad for yourself. Uh, you, you, you kick them to the curb. You bind them. You bind them by the power of the Holy Spirit in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anytime a voice says to you, well, they, uh, I didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve this. Remember one thing. You asked for it. You asked for it. You went looking for it. Whatever your reason was, whether you were just looking for God or or you wanted the power of these powers or you wanted to learn how to hurt people, whatever the reason was, you went looking for it. So don't say you didn't ask for it because you did ask for it. This is all a part of, of looking at reality in reality. No more delusion. Delusion is your enemy. Delusion is Satan's realm and this is what we're breaking out of. So no more feeling bad for yourself at all. There are no victims. There are absolutely no victims. So having said that, do you understand this, this path is full time. For those who are serious, this path is full time. This is why I never dated. I, I never had friends. The only thing I ever focused on for the last eight years now has been my path. So you understand why I am where I am in consciousness. It's the only way you're going to get here. And I, I said, all, all of these demons out here used to laugh at me and call me crazy and tell me, well, why don't you go out and socialize? And I said, I will socialize when I complete my journey. N not a second before. And now I have, well, once these, these demons are out of me, I will have totally completed my journey. And then I can live my life the way I want. Okay? This is what you have to keep in mind. The second that you give in, and go back out and become of the world. That means sleeping around, watching horror films, playing with uh, div divination again, start watching tarot videos out here. Um, you're right back to square one and understand, understand more demons will enter you. More demons will enter you. This is not a joke. Okay? So, I'm trying to think of where I should start with this. Let's just start because I understand that people are not going to write me on my page because you're afraid of Nithya and Ananda and his goons. And I can't say that I blame you. Okay? So, I'm just going to put the information out here for whoever may need it so that you don't feel like you have to reach out to me. Um, and so what I'm going to first uh, talk about is, is how to stop uh, PTSD flashbacks. Um, th this is, and a lot of this, I want, I want you to understand, I firmly believe that these flashbacks are from these demons. They're, 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 their job is to torment us and to keep us away from God. That's all they're here for. I firmly believe these, these, these flashbacks are these demons. So number one, what you can do, which I, which of course I didn't know before, anoint yourself and bind the demons. Just, just make a blanket statement. Any demon that is causing these flashbacks to occur in my head, I bind you in the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then this is what I want you to do. I want you to just sit back in a chair that it's going to be your chair for doing this kind of stuff. Just sit back very quietly. Don't have on any meditation, any guided meditation, any anything. Very quietly. Just sit back like this. And, and get a grasp of what's what you're seeing in your mind. Um, so, so that you'll understand. And, and let me tell you something. The, the flashbacks that you're getting, they're going to be very specific. These flashbacks are not random. These are things that are ready to be dealt with. So until these demons get casted out of you, whatever you're, you're being shown, whether it was an abuse issue as a child, um, something that may have happened to you at, at another point in your life, understand it's, 
This thing is now ready to be healed. This is why it's right in front of your face here. Nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens by accident. And you will see once these, these flashbacks starts, any repressed memories that you have back here in the amygdala will start moving forward. Because you've created space, the repressed memories will start moving forward. And you will have to deal with these now. Okay? But hopefully, as the demons get casted out of you, these, these memories will go too. All right? I'm, I'm praying for every one of you that you don't have to go through what I went through. Okay? So just sit quietly. Take notice. I'm, I'm going to do both, both right now because it's a beautiful way for you to understand that you are witnessing your thoughts. Okay? So just sit back quietly and look at what is being shown to you. What picture are you getting? And now, here's what I want you to do. While you're here in this place with your eyes closed, what did I just tell you? I just told you to look at what is being shown to you. What is being shown to you? Notice the words that I used. Your thoughts are separate from you. They are being shown to you. You are looking at your thoughts. They are being shown to you. Here, here, let me, let me show you this picture. If I show you this picture, can this picture be you? If I, if I, if I show you this phone cover, can, can this phone cover be you? So understand this very simple premise that the spirit self can only be itself. It can't see itself. It cannot see itself. It can only be itself. So anything that you can see, hear, feel, experience is not you. You are in fact witnessing it, perceiving it. Okay? So sit back again with your eyes closed. You're, if, you're, if you have not started doing any healing, you will have pictures and don't fight these pictures. The more you try to stop the thoughts, the more they're going to come. You don't want to fight anything. Okay? So they're there. What you're going to do is turn your focus to who's looking at the, the picture, who's looking at the thought. Because someone is perceiving that thought. Someone is perceiving that thought. So this is what you need to look at. And now I want you to always keep in mind while you're doing these exercises, the, the, the example I gave you of the three birds in the tree. So you understand while you are sitting here and you're just closing your eyes, you are bird on the first branch. You are the busy bird, which is what I call the personhood. Okay? You're that bird on the first branch. Okay? We're actually now trying to see that we are looking at our thoughts. And the reason that we're trying to do this is to understand that we are not our thoughts. That means that we have an interest in the outcome of what we're looking at. So that means whatever we're seeing right now, that sees the thoughts, that finally says, aha, I see the thoughts, I see them. And I see it's not me, that, that is the thought. I see I'm looking at the thought. Remember, at that point, you're still only the bird on the second branch, which is still a part of the personhood. So you're not fully at your spirit self yet. Because what will happen is, you will automatically understand that you're feeling things in your body. You may see things in the mind. These demons may throw something at us. And we understand that we're witnessing it. And we just don't care. That means you are truly in your spirit self. So there is a process to this. This is why you have to be diligent about this. And if you do this once a week or whenever you feel like it, please understand you will never get there. You will never get there. This has to be a way of life for you. You have to want this more than you want your next breath. Otherwise, it will never happen.
And I will tell everyone, and it, this will help everyone to get in the habit of praying, that you pray to Father God that before you before you do the deliverance videos, that you pray to Father God that, that these demons will be released from you. Before you, you do this exercise to, to watch the thoughts, that you pray to Father God that he will lift the blinders from your eyes, that he will lift the veil from your eyes, that, that you will be able to, to understand that you are witnessing your thoughts, for him to allow you to see that in Jesus' mighty name. Get in the habit, get in the habit to understand that um, one, one of the detrimental things that we learned from uh, the occult uh, this is all Satan's Satan's will it is it's to believe that we are God and we have gotten out of the habit of praying if we used to pray because who are we praying to and understand when I say that it's not that we're God from religion it's not that we're God from religion it's that we are consciousness God from consciousness that God um, I don't I don't ascribe to that at all it is only Satan that, that wanted to be God. So we have to understand that we are a child of God. Even Jesus Christ identified himself as the Son of God. You understand? So who is anybody out here to say they are God? Only Satan does that. So always, always building up your discernment and accept nothing less than the truth ever. So we'll try this one more time. Sit, close your eyes. Be relaxed now. Don't don't tense up. Be relaxed. And whatever comes in front of you here, whatever comes here, just let it be. But now you have you have two issues that are going on here. If you're dealing still with with your trauma, so you want to you want to take a look at what what is being shown to you. What trauma experience is being shown to you because this is in fact what's ready to be healed right now okay and um i'm actually gonna i'll put it in the description because what do you do with it when it's here when it's ready to be healed i'm going to tell you right now uh the woman that i followed well, her name is melanie tanya evans and she has a meditation that she has created the NARC program, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Program. Um, there is a fee for it. This is her work. This is her life's work. So you must expect that you will pay a fee for this. But the results are magnificent. And she takes you through this guided meditation where you're going to clean out the junk. You're going to clean out the junk. And what this is, is whatever, whatever um, abuse that you're being shown that's in the front right now, that's the one that's ready to be healed. Because these abuse issues hide from us. We dissociate from them. That's how, we, that's how we survive. So if they're right up front, they're ready to be healed now. So you've got to go after it. You've got to go after it. So if you do the meditation uh, from the NARP program, um, she will walk you through. And the same exact thing will happen, let me tell you. You will go hysterical crying. This is how I knew that during my dark night of the soul, I was releasing demons and I didn't even know it. I was releasing demons. Hysterical crying. Hysterical crying. And I learned even before I met the demon slayers to blow out. That if I blew out, I was blowing out what I, what I called negative energy. What they are actually is demons. What they are actually is demons. But in, intuitively, I knew that if I blew out, I would be blowing out all of this negative energy. And that was what I did. And uh, I actually did that once uh, on, on a video. And I let you guys see. I went hysterical crying. I mean, to the point I was just sobbing. And I just said, Father, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Father, forgive me. I was hysterical crying. And then I just started blowing out. And I was just saying, I actually was saying, get out. Get out of me. Get out of me. And I was blowing out. I was just going, <sighs> Get out of me. Get out of me. And I do not know how I knew to, how to do that. I truly do not. And, um, and I showed you guys that once I did that and I talked about that same issue, I would not stop crying again. 
that whatever negative negative energy was in me had now been released. These are in fact what were the demons. So I had been releasing demons for the last seven or eight years and I didn't even know it. So we can be releasing these little ones, the anxiety, the fear, but you've got to do the work. And emotional work is the hardest work we will ever do. It's exhausting. It wipes your energy out, but you've got to do it because I will tell you, you get up the next day, you, you feel like, you feel like you're living in a new world. You feel lighter. You feel your inner space expand. Where, where now it's like really contracted. There's so much junk in here. It's so contracted. Uh, you literally start feeling your inner space expand. That, that you're floating. You're floating. So for right now, I'm going to leave this here. There's a lot of things for you to do. Okay? Start watching uh, Mike Signorelli's uh, Mass Deliverance. Everything I'm telling you right now, I will put it in the description so you don't even have to go looking for it. Uh, the mass deliverance uh, video to, to start working on getting the little demons out. Go to Bob Larson's videos. Um, and, and the reason I want you to do this is, is to actually see how, uh, how serious these snake demons are and these Shiva demons. And there's another one there that was, that has a python. The python. It's all from the snake kingdom. Another one there that was possessed by Hanuman. You see what these what these people go through that the face got all deformed and everything these demons are are powerful they're powerful but they're not more powerful than jesus christ so you keep your anointing oil with you all the time and just say these words by the power of the holy spirit i bind you in the mighty name of jesus christ and if they start hurting you anywhere on your body just Put the sign of the cross with the anointing oil and say those same words. You bind it by the, by the mighty name of Jesus Christ until all the demons are out of you. So, and this is why I'm saying do everything simultaneously. Don't do one thing, then wait till that's done, then start another. You'll never get done. Do it all simultaneously. So you want to be watching Bob Larson's videos to understand what these snake demons are and how powerful they are. The Shiva demon, the Hanuman demon, the Python demon, um, the Jezebel. If you've been abused as a child, you definitely have Jezebel or Lilith or one of them. If you've been, uh, if if Kali has been your Ishtar, then you've got Kali in you, and you need to see how powerful these demons are. Uh, this is why you need Bob Larson to get rid of these demons. Don't even think about trying to get rid of these demons on your own. Do not, do not. They can put you in a trance and who knows what's going to happen. You need somebody to keep control of them. Okay? So um, see what they are, how powerful they are. To understand, not to scare you, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. You are a child of Jesus Christ. Once you decided to come back to Jesus, you are a child of Jesus Christ. And as long as you state his name powerfully, you are the one in control through him. Okay? And that's really all you need to know. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. We should have been afraid before because we weren't saying the name of Jesus Christ to bind these things. Because who knew that we should be doing this? Um, so we should have been afraid before and we weren't. So there's nothing to be afraid of now. Just be prepared. You know they're going to kick up their attacks on you. Once you declare that you're a child of God, that's it. They know that they're losing you and the battle begins. So just be prepared. Keep the oil next to you. I think Bob Larson made a video of how to do anointing oil. I'm not sure, but I will go look. And I'll put that in here too. Um, so so um, remember, nothing of the world. That should all stop now. The, the cop shows and... Uh, Whatever you used to watch on television, no more. No more. Everything from the world needs to be left out in the world. You will be in the world, but not of the world any longer. Okay? So everything you watch should should be uh, uh, of either Bob Larson casting out demons, uh, Encounter TV, learning about scripture, learning about the Holy Spirit. Um, 
There's lots and lots of videos that I got. You can look on my page under movies. Lots of videos in there. It's about all the books in the Bible uh, that have been made into movies. You can watch stuff like that. Um, uh, download the uh, audio Bible to your phone. That's what you should listen to. Um, if you want to listen to music, uh, there's many, many Christian Christian music stations out here. Um, Joy FM is one of them. Uh, Way FM, I think, is another one. So, And you can find them in the App Store. Download them to your phone. Christian music is awesome. Let me tell you something. Christian music is awesome. <clears throat> it's not the old-time gospel music. It's, you feel like you're listening to secular music, but man, man, it fills the spirit. That's all I can say. So you're going to learn how to live in the light. That's what this is all about. You're going to learn how to live in the light. And give yourself a break. You are not a victim. You will not accept yourself being a victim. But you are going to give yourself a break. Because understand, God is not finished with you yet. God is not finished with you yet. And as, as, as often as you can, sit and try to witness your thoughts. It's going to take a little effort to do this because at this point you actually believe you are your thoughts and you will eventually begin to see, nope, you, you're actually looking at your thoughts. And, and take notice of everything that you're looking at a thought and it just comes out of nowhere. Where did it come from? And you're looking at, it's like you're looking at a screen. It comes at it and then all of a sudden it's gone and then something else comes here. Well, you didn't go anywhere. Oh, so these things are coming and going here. These things are coming and going here. You're actually witnessing these thoughts. Then you may notice uh, you got an itch on your shoulder and you're still seeing your thought here and you got, and your, your, your attention goes to your shoulder, you scratch your shoulder. You still want, you're still seeing these thoughts. But, so now, now you're in two places. You will begin to see that none of these things are you. None of these things are you. You are perceiving everything. Okay? And here's what I want to tell you. As long as you keep Jesus Christ as your focus, this stuff will is not considered a cult. And I don't want, I don't want to hear anybody tell you anything different. These people, these people are sleepers out here. They don't know any better. As long as you keep Jesus Christ as your focus, you're fine to learn this stuff. I am not going to teach you any breath work. I am not going to teach you anything to open the third eye. I'm merely telling you to sit still and observe your thoughts. That's it. And at the same time, if you're dealing with trauma issues, take notice of what's being shown to you because that is ready to be healed at this point. Oh, and I will put the name of uh, Melanie in the description and the NARP program so you can find her right on YouTube, okay? And she has a beautiful community there of people that are healing. Um, I will tell you to really to stay away from those communities. You have to understand, here, this is, this is really what I want to tell you. Everything that you used to do in the sleep needs to stop. So... If you really need support for a, a, a traumatic flashback that's coming back, you always have those groups to fall back in, but otherwise stay out of them. They're all people in a sleep and they're, they're, they're feeling like they're victims and they're enjoying their victimhood and they're bashing their narcissist and they're not taking responsibility for their own part in what happened and they're lost. That's not where you want to be. Stay out of those groups. This is why I'm suggesting that if, if a few of you people that left Nithya and Anda are actually now ready to start waking up, that you form a separate group of only you people that, that are ready to wake up. And you hold each other accountable that, no, you're, you're not going out to the bar tonight. You're not going to watch that new movie, whatever it is, that's uh, all about violence or, or a horror film or whatever. You're not going to do that. Um, you keep, you hold each other accountable. And, and the most important thing is that you show each other compassion, show each other compassion. Um, remember we're all children of God. And that also is not just words. And, uh, what we've all learned out in the world is hatred is judgment. It's, uh, 
it's 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 let me hurt you before you hurt me and even these people out here who who believe they're they're leaders in the christian movement they haven't woken up yet it's it's dangerous out here you've got to build up your discernment very very quickly and uh this is why i'm saying if you build up a group of of those that you are waking up with you're safer that way and do not you see what happened with the tarot demon how, how she conned all those people from the, the tarot community to to join her energy group and let her open their kundalini while she had already told them all that i was crazy and not to listen to me and i was out here yelling from the rooftops not to let her open not to let them open not to let her open their kundalini and i, I don't know uh, I, it appears that they didn't listen to me and they allowed her to open the Kundalini because she had the Facebook group going there. And the way I know that is because the Nithyananda goons, remember that day, they uh, they tried to hack into her uh, Facebook group and have the, the verification number sent to my phone. That's how I knew what they were doing. So these people have allowed her to open their Kundalini and I'm, I'm so sorry to understand that. But now they have a snake demon in them, and that's what they're going to have to deal with. So, uh, you know, if, if even those people leave, and you all want to get together and join your own group, I will not be in that. <coughs> I will not be in that group with you. I don't want to be the leader of any group, and this is what I want you all to understand. You have to learn to stand on your own two feet, not be conned by another guru, not be conned by some pastor out here who's only looking to make a name for themselves. You've got to learn to stand on your own two feet and solely trust and rely and focus on Jesus Christ. That's it. I did all of this, just me and Jesus Christ, while I was being attacked by everyone out here. And you see where I'm at. So it is possible. And it is, especially for you guys leaving the mystics community and leaving the occult. Nobody understands what you've been through. Nobody cares about you. And that's the truth. You need to learn to care about each other and be a comfort for each other because there are going to be some very difficult times ahead. Be a comfort for each other. Don't judge each other. Don't hurt each other. You've been through enough hurt. Okay? It's all, it's all about... It's, it's, it's all about learning how to love yourself now. And when loving yourself, you're fully able to love other people. Okay? It's all about loving yourself and being a comfort to other people instead of judging them and bashing them. This is what we got to get away. Anytime you see that, you know that that is of the world and these people are asleep. That's not who you want to be. Okay? So... From this day on, no more exercises from the occult to open Kundalini, to open Third Eye. It's all stops. No more, uh, no more, no more visiting uh, these tarot pages. No more going to these groups online that are bashing people. It all stops. Today is the first day of the rest of your life in the light. Okay, so I will put everything um, in the description and. Um, Get to work. You guys be blessed.